Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? So still using the Bill Williams alligator. Um, quite a few interesting things are transpiring at the moment. So let's just get some lines in here and uh, I will share that with you. So the first one is this downward trend line which we broke through. We never really retested. Okay. Now remember what I always say, V reversals are rare. So this here pretty much a V reversal. So it's down and then straight up. So we have now broken and closed two days in a row below the 200 daily EMA. Okay. So that's the first scenario. Um, we did get this uh, little wedge here. And I think we'll have to talk about it on lower time frame because it'll be clearer there. But that's pretty much the consolidation there. And this measured move is still to play out. Oops, wrong one. So that goes to there. Let me go on back. Okay, so if I get some horizontal lines in here, so that's the first element there. If we look at these inside bars, so there's my inside tail there. We did close below it, so I would expect us to have another leg down. Okay. And we just close this gap. That is, well, so we closed that quite a way ago, but we've come and retested this area. So um, pretty much this is the second time that we're testing it. Um, so it's third time lucky. So it's either third time that we failed to push through or it's third time that we pushed down. Okay. Um, if I look at what I do have in this area, I do have another inside tail sitting there. Okay, remember I'm just looking to the left and you can see here is my other inside tail here and that lines up with the measured move. So this is the, the target that I have for this downward move, which is just, let's just round it off to 24,000. Okay, that's the current target we have for the downward move. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether we're going to get a, a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a bounce and then another move down but uh, be that as it may this is the measured move okay so if we just get to the four hour and let's just tidy this wedge up properly there you go right so there's our wedge we broke out of it and um, we pretty much ran away to the downside now this trend line that I've been talking about here that hasn't been retested yeah that retests even further down and I would assume okay so all you do now is you just line up with your inside tails okay and one more in there so, oops not that one that one right so every inside tail there's one there, there's two there, um, that one lines up there, those ones line up. So all of those pretty much line up with the level. So that's pretty much the last zone that I can see is these last three lines here. And uh, look at how that lines up with our downward trend line. Actually, and by the time we get there, we could possibly even shoot past further. But this zone, and if we just do it on the weekly, you'll see is kind of the last line of defense here. Okay, so that's kind of uh, what I'm looking at at the moment. So let's get to the hour. Um, we can just look at that, we don't need that. So what I'd like to see is a little bit of a bounce and uh, the level that I'm watching at the moment that we don't get above is pretty much Two four seven thirty. Okay, so if you did get in on the short yesterday, um, still no reason to get out of this. Uh, you probably want to move your stop to above this fractal level. So you want to move your stop to about two four seven fifty. And um, if you're looking to add to this position, uh, this would be a fairly good area to start adding. Not here, sorry, up at the top here. So. 24700 area would be a fairly decent area to add. Um, 
I want to delete all the noise at the moment, so we just focus on what we can do today. So that's the level there, and obviously that is a downside move there. Now just bear in mind that this area that we've tagged is fairly significant. Okay, so we've tagged that area there. There's no other inside tail. These are not inside tails. These are outside tails. So you can see there's a tail, and then here you've got price that went past it. So we broke past it. So that is the level. It broke past, came back. Closed pretty much just below it. Well, sorry, opened just below it, and then rallied off. So this is our level. These tails here, they're significant, but they're not as significant as this tail. And we've closed below it. Right. So if you look at this level here where I'm saying the stop is, just look above it because there is a inside tail there. Okay. So come back to here. So a bit of a rally, a bit of a bounce up into this area. See there's my inside tail. Is also possible. And at the same time, we could go as far as that. But that would mean we have to shoot straight up now, touch the alligator, and then come back down. So for now, I think um, a bit of caution, but I do suspect there's more downside coming. And uh, what we may do, though, because we've had two big days like this, we may just consolidate. We may f sort of form a range um, in this area. So again, it's just something that you need to watch. Um, the awesome oscillator here is showing that we have a little bit of... Uh, a moment, uh, upward momentum, but the problem that I have here is this could be seen as a wise band number one entry. So a break above where we are now. Oh, I don't really want to use another line. Let's just use this one. So a close above this level would validate a wise band number one. Um, so basically, there's deviation. So this bar here is deviation. Price is deviated from the red line, which is your alligator teeth. So price is moving sharply down, and the alligator teeth is moving in a different direction. So how you see this is you draw a line from where you cross the alligator, which is there, and you draw it along the top of the bar. So there's the top of the bar. And then from the same point, draw a line along that sort of intersects with the teeth at the same level. Okay, and you can see this is, you can see the deviation, how the two are moving apart. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to pop down to the half hour quickly because um, as yesterday we saw that was a, a flat bottom triangle that was forming there that eventually broke. So we don't have anything like that forming at the moment. What we do have is the oscillators grouping at the top. Okay, so you have a fractal there, and you have a fractal there at the moment. And if we just go down one more, okay, we have broken the alligator on the 12 minutes, so we could be in for a little bit more of a, an upward trend, or alternatively, this is going to be our consolidation area. Okay, so for me at the moment, I wouldn't pay much attention to this. I'd look at the focus on the hour. That's going to give you a much better view of what's going on. Okay, so, yeah, so basically, for me, um, I'm expecting either consolidation or a breakdown. So the break to the downside needs to be watched because that would be 24394 um, or 24400, somewhere around that area. So we start getting an hourly close below there. That's something to watch for. Um, alternatively, we get a break above this um, 24725 area, which I somehow doubt. Um, I th personally, I think uh, the fact that we closed with a red bar I think the bulls are still very much, sorry, the bears are very much in control. The uh, bulls are going to try to push us slightly. But uh, this area where we are right now could actually be um, it's a 200-point stop loss. But there's nothing here that I can see. So 
I think if you are short, stay short. Just keep your stop here. Looking for an entry, you're going to have to wait for Europe Open to see what happens and take it from there. But I do suspect more downside. The only question is whether it's going to happen today or whether this is going to be a, um, a double bottom of sort. Okay. So, yeah. So, I do... Ultimately, I expect this measured moves to play out. So, I mean, it's very rare that when they get this level, so in other words, it breaks below the swing low here, that the target is not hit. Okay, so even if we just line it up to the bottom of this tail, um, which would be a proper double bottom, there are still downside targets at play. Okay. Um, still another 390 points to go. So yeah, guys, uh, I think that's kind of my view for the day. Still expecting downside. I don't see an opportunity to get in not at the moment, but there probably will be something brewing later this morning, um, which will allow you to get in. Okay, so yeah, just uh, keep the stops tight. If you are short, just keep moving that stop down below every swing low until such time that um, it plays out. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for me today. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up or drop us a comment. Do appreciate the comments. Um, and let us know what else you want to uh, see. Are there any other instruments that you want us to run through in the morning? Anyway, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.